He was brought in to shake things up, and he's certainly done that. Film producer Mike Downey canceled the standalone national competition at this year's Antalya Film Festival, merging it with the international one. It may have caused controversy in some corners, but Downey thinks this year's festival has more to offer than ever before and is competing at its highest level yet. Miranda Atti spoke with him in the Sunshine City. The 54th Antalya International Film Festival is a new concept. It's a, a brand new idea um, which uh, we developed over the last few months with the municipality of Antalya and what was, what was formerly a kind of a, a, a blend of a Turkish competition and a panorama of international films has now become a, a sort of a unit and so what we have is we have, we have what, I, what I hope to be the best in international world cinema, the best of the best in terms of talent, the best films and hopefully that will raise the game of the audience as well. There's a few Turkish films in the selection, but it's very global, it's very broad. How did you choose the films that you did? Largely to do uh, with, with personal taste, I guess. I, I like a certain kind of film, and I believe certain kind of film with certain kind of ways of filmmaking and ideas communicate best to an audience. Um, uh, another very strong um, uh, part of my selection process, I wanted to select films where I was absolutely sure that the key talent would come because I believe very much in the, this sort of holy trinity of, of the audience, the filmmaker and the film and cutting down as few barriers between those, those things as possible. And so if you have really the great filmmakers coming and talking directly with the people and having that real direct contact, I think that the whole experience is far more engaging, far more meaningful and it kind of makes, it, to me, it makes complete sense. One of the key things that you've always said is very important is gender equality. That's something that you've really worked to tackle with this festival. Tell us more about that. One of the fault lines of the 21st century that we're trying to come to grips with, that a lot of people all over, all over the world are trying to, is the gender equality thing. And this, especially in the film industry, especially at this time, we've seen a lot of moves now with film funds across the world from Sweden to the UK who are now going to fund 50-50 women men directors and that's very much to be applauded as long as quality is maintained of course in the case of the selection of the films here it was uh, I think partly my sensibility for a certain kind of film may be led to a, to a, to, to a, 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 a profusion of uh, female directors and uh, partly um, uh, I, I was actively looking for, uh, for what, what, what's absolutely incredible in terms of uh, two of the Turkish qualifying films um, uh, is that they are directed by women and are very, very strong movies and I'm really, really proud of that. What is it that you really love about films? <laughs> Cinema, as, as, as a producer and as a, and, a, and, as a, and, a, and as a festival director, gives me a whole breadth, canvas, spectrum of vast ideas that can be used to reach a huge number of people in possibly the most intimate way. You know, the eyes as the window to the soul and all of that. And uh, it's the most powerful medium that we have to express right now. <laughs>